Did you notice the new feature that Trello released a couple of weeks ago? It's a way to complete a card whether it has a due date or not. And I got to be honest, this change, this update has come with a little bit of controversy. And I was actually part of the controversy in the Atlassian community because, I mean, I love when I see updates and I see time and effort being invested into a tool that I love so much. But at the same time, change is hard. And there were some things about it that I was really not a fan of. And I voiced my opinion along with a number of other people. Trello's already been listening and they've rolled back little pieces of it, but the feature itself remains. So maybe you love it and this video is not for you. Or maybe you hate it and you want to learn how to turn it off. This can be done on a board by board basis to a degree. That's what we're going to be doing in this video. But before we dive into this, make sure you like this video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and ring that little notification bell so that you never miss a tutorial or upload. Okay, so when you are on desktop and you are in your board, if you don't know what I'm talking about, well, I kind of assume that you do know what I'm talking about or you wouldn't be watching this video. But just in case you don't, Trello released this new feature, right, where you can complete the card regardless of whether or not it has a due date. And some people don't like the fact that there's this animation when you hover over the card and it makes the text move. And like if you're moving around a lot, like it just it, it's visually not great for some people. And honestly, there are certain types of boards where you aren't really going to mark the card complete in that way. So why do you need that? Right. So they have created a way that you can turn this off. It is at the moment on a board by board basis. But when you are in your desktop, you're going to come over here to the three dot menu. And then you're going to come down into settings. And then from here is where you have different settings like permissions and things like that that we've looked at. But you will also see this show complete status and then show complete status on card front. By default, it will be enabled. But if you check it, you just saw, I don't know if you saw that, but watch the other cards when I check it and uncheck it. See how they move just a tiny bit? So what that does is you will see the completion if it is marked complete, but if it's not marked complete, then now when I hover over it, that stuff doesn't happen. But what if you still need to be able to mark the card complete? No worries. If you open the card itself, that will still be there on the back of the card. Okay. So you can just come in here and click complete and then you'll see that it's marked complete. As you can see on mobile, same thing, right? We're going through and we are seeing those little circles on the front of each card. Now it's a little different here because you don't hover the same way on mobile, but you still might not need that. That might just be in your way. So if you want to get rid of that, you simply come up here into, again, the three dot menu. And this one, it's even easier to find. You've got this little radio button right here. You're going to click that off and then you close that out and you can see that has disappeared. It only appears on the cards that are complete. The online tools for your business do not need to be complicated and overwhelming. It's time to let it be easy. I hope you liked that video and more importantly that you found it helpful. If you did, please consider subscribing to the channel and sharing it with a fellow solopreneur. And make sure you check out the description for links to how we can connect and maybe even work together.